Hello, today I'm going to show you how to draw these speech bubbles. First open a new document, press the letter L for the ellipse tool or select it from the toolbar panel and draw an ellipse. Next we'll create this part. With the ellipse tool still selected, draw a narrow ellipse. Using the direct selection tool, drag a box to select the anchor point on the right. Now click on it, hold and drag down. Next, using the convert anchor point tool, click on this handle and drag to reverse this curve. Now switch to the selection tool, rotate it and let's place it over here. Before we move to the next step, let's make a copy. Delete this part and we'll replace it with a triangle shape. Select the polygon tool, single click on the artboard and type 3 for the sides. Using the direct selection tool, select the anchor point on the top and drag it up. Switch to the selection tool, rotate it and place it over here. Let's go back to the first bubble. Select both shapes. Now open the Pathfinder window. If you don't see it, go to Window and select Pathfinder and choose Unite. In the next few steps, we will change the style of the top oval to look like this. First, select the ellipse. Then go to Effect, Distort and Transform and choose Zigzag. Check the preview box so you can better see what we are doing and adjust the size, ridges per segment and points to whatever you like. Next, we need to expand this ellipse to keep its new style. To do that, go to Object and select Expand Appearance. Next, select both shapes, go to Pathfinder and choose Unite. And of course, you can increase the stroke weight, change the fill to a different color, insert text or add a shadow. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.